Hello everyone, welcome back to PLC Homeschool with Miss Marianne. Today I'm releasing my fourth edition of Learn on Your Own First Grade Math. And this one will include subtraction facts. There will be 10 slides for this one also, just like my others. And the slides that I will include will have subtraction facts from zero to six. And then I will also include subtraction facts through 12, subtraction facts from 0 to 20, and also in this lesson I will include how to subtract using a number line. Okay, so all of that will be included in this lesson. My slides are intended for first graders to log on their, log on their computer on their own and listen to each direction given on each slide. So there will be a teacher who is giving them directions on what to do on each slide. They can go ahead and work along with the teacher, pause the video, and then they can check their work. So once again, it's intended for your student to try it on their own and also be able to check their work. So let's do an example of what it would look like. Hello students, welcome back to PLC Homeschool with Miss Marianne. Today we are doing subtraction facts Okay, we always need to remember, let's get our little pin here, remember subtraction, our sign looks like that. So always remember to look at your sign, so we know if we're adding or subtracting, and here it looks like a subtraction sign. And remember, when you subtract, that means you're taking away from a group. You are taking away from a group, okay? And you will be using a number sentence to show the difference. This is a key word for subtraction. Whenever you see subtraction or the word difference, that means you are subtracting from the group. Now you're asking, what is a number sentence? A number sentence looks like this. 4 minus 2 equals something. Okay, so that's what a number sentence looks like. Now, instead of using words to create a sentence, we're using the numbers. So whenever you read the words number sentence, this is what you would be looking for. Okay? Let's go ahead and work on our first one. Number one. Now, I did give you shapes to use if you would like to use them. Okay? If you want to use your fingers, you can also use your fingers. If you would like to use any manipulatives that you have at home, you're also able to use those. Okay, I just wanted to give you some visuals if you would like to use them. And remember, when you click onto your slides, you can use your writing tool to write right on your screen. Okay, or you can use a piece of paper at home. That works just fine. So let's start on number one, everyone. Eyes on the screen. Okay, here we go. Our number sentence says 4 minus 2 equals something. Okay, now we know we see a minus sign. So what does that mean? That means we're taking away from the group. So we see we have four in our group, four squares. We're going to take away two from that group. Ready? Let's do it. One, two. How many do we have left over? Let's count them. One, two. So we know that four minus two equals two. Okay, let's work on number two. Number two, we have purple triangles. Let's read our number sentence. Five minus four equals something. We know that we have five in our group. We've got five purple triangles. We're going to take away four from the group. One, two, three, four. Now how many do we have left over? We have one left over in the group. Okay, so remember when you see that takeaway or that minus sign, you are taking away from the group. So go ahead and get your paper out, or if you're going to be writing on your screen, that is fine also. Get your writing tools ready. Let's go ahead and work on number three. Let's see what our number sentence says. It says six minus three equals something. I want you to go ahead and work on number three, pause the video. When you're done, press the unpause. Go ahead and start number three now. Okay. 
Okay, everyone, welcome back. Just a reminder, if you need extra time, please pause the video. So we're working on number three. Everyone, I would like you to check your work and follow along, okay? So let's see. We have six in our group, and our number sentence says to take away three. So let's go ahead and take away three. One, two, three. How many do we have left? Let's count them. One, two, three. Good job. Go ahead and check your work. Now, if you made a mistake, please pause the video and I would like you to redo your work. Good job, everybody. So that was just a preview of what the students would be hearing from their teacher. And that's how they would follow along, pause the video, and check their work. If you would like more information on our products, you can reach me at plchomeschool14 at gmail.com. And I will talk to everyone later.